So welcome to Leicester, not Orkney. Uh, this is my local supermarket. We used to be Sainsbugs, and I've got loads of these smart charge uh, rapids. I think they're Kemp power rapids, which are really, really clever. Anyway, um, the Tesla supercharger, which is about half a mile that way, is really full. And I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to try out these because we haven't got a Sainsbury's on Orkney. Um, and I'm really impressed with these Kemp Power Rapids. So let's see how we get on. So how to charge. And I'm genuinely, I've no idea what I'm doing. There's nothing new there then. Touch the screen to start, then select a cable by pushing the button. Touch the screen. I'll have that cable uh, by pushing the button. And tap your card to authorise the payment. Um, tapping my card. Oh, RFID. No. Oh, yeah. What was the payment mode? Oh, okay. Well, it wasn't exactly clear, but anyway, you see what I've had to do. Card read OK, please proceed. It's taking £40. Authenticated. Connect cable. That's it, we're in. So just looking at the car. Uh, are we charging yet? I think we are. Then plug in the cable. Pre-authorization. Connect cable. I am connected cable. I think it's charging. Charging stopped. <laughs> yeah, you see, it's saying connect cable. Well, I have connected the cable. Maybe I've got to pull it in, push, pull it up at an angle. No. I'll tell you what. Let's go into my app and disconnect the car. Charging stopped. So I can see what's happened on the app. Uh, charging station authentication required. See charging stations to start charging. It's now got a countdown. Oh no. So it's it's counting down now. That's mad. It's not easy. This is supposed to be a modern charging system. Start charging. It's counting down, I've got 15 seconds left to decide what I'm doing. Unlock charge. Oh, hang on. Charging stop. Unlock charge port. Right. Right. That's not the best. Let's go for another one. Let's try it again. Right. Unlock the charge port. Pretend I'm doing this for the first time. Touch the screen to start, then select a cable. Touch the screen. Touch the screen. Available. Right. Tap your card to authenticate the payment. Well, let's do it on there then. Choose your charging rate. Invalid authentication with a tag or a mobile app. I don't want a tag or a mobile app. That's just... It's not clear. Right, bank card. Tag mobile app or pay with card. I want to pay with card. Right. It's taken 40 quid out of my account. Do it again. Authenticated. Connect cable. Maybe it's because I opened the door on the car. 
starting to charge. Ah, there we go. Three hours, 50, I'm at 18%. I'm charging at, and I'll tell you, well, it should tell me on the app actually, 42 kilowatts, 65 kilowatts. It's basically, you can see it on the, on the phone. It's telling me the charge rate on the app, 86 kilowatts. I probably had two lots of 40 quid taken out of my account. 86 kilowatts, 85. There we go. Right, also got on here the state of charge and the charge rate. Now let's just see if that racks up any more, but what is available on this one? Uh, okay, 150 kilowatts at 400 volt architecture DC or 800 volts. So that would be like the, um, what would that be? Some of the Kias and some of the Hyundai with 400 volt, 800 volt architecture. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Does the screen come back? There we go. 87 kilowatts. Yeah, okay. Not awesome. Price isn't particularly brilliant. It's cheaper with Tesla across the road, but I just wanted to test this out. So initial impressions, I have to say, a bit clunky. Um, and you still can't beat the Tesla supercharger network where you just plug it in, the car talks to Tesla, the Tesla says yes I've got JP's bank account, I'll start charging you 34 pence as opposed to 72p per kilowatt hour. Um, yeah, these are great, I applaud them, I suppose if I use them week in week out I get used to the format. but too clunky um, yeah there's a lady over there on Mercedes also staring at the RFID payment tab and wondering what's going on like it or not you don't have to follow Elon's politics or what he does but you've got to take your hats off to Tesla they still make rapid charging or supercharging the easiest in the whole industry the easiest when it comes to their vehicles and when it comes to their charging network so yeah everyone else is just playing catch up i'm not knocking this this is a great site but it's still got to be a lot easier folks thanks for watching so someone's just pulled up next to me just gonna see who it is if they need any help charging you know sir do you want any it's only mr ev hello <laughs> I do need help. I do need help. Thank you. <laughs> I definitely need help. I've really struggled with this this morning. Have you? Yeah. <laughs>